Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to illustrate expressions with rational exponents. Let's have a review about laws of exponent uh, involving positive integral exponent, zero, and negative integral exponents. So here, if we are multiplying the same base, we simply add the exponent, and that is equal to 32. 2 raised to the 5th power. If you are dividing, simply subtract the exponent. So 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2. Squared, that is equal to 4. Here, raised to another power. So simply multiply this. 3 times 2. So 2 raised to 6. And that is equal to 64. Same thing here. We need to distribute the exponent here. Just copy the base here. So that becomes 2 raised to the 4th power over 2 raised to the 6th power. And you can simplify that. That is 16 over 64. Now here, look at this one. We are dividing the same number. So it means that is 2 raised to 0. If, because in dividing, we subtract the exponent. And what is 2 raised to 0 equal to? Equal to 1. Why? Because we are just dividing the same number. It's just like 32 divided by 32, right? 2 to the 5th power raised to over, to over 2 to the 5th power. And that is equal to 1. So therefore, 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Which means any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. And for negative numbers or negative exponent, simply we get the reciprocal. That is 1 over 2 raised to the second power. So simply, this one, and the third is 1, so get the reciprocal. So once it's in the denominator, you change the ex uh, negative exponent to positive. Now, what are we going to do now is recall about the radical expressions. So that's the radical sign. This is the index. And this is again the radical. So I have here, when we are going to get, where we are simplifying here, we are just going to get the principal nth root. What do you mean by that? We are just going to get the positive square root. So if I have here the square root of 4, and that is equal to 2. Means, what number raised to 2? The answer is 4. So that is 2. Actually, if it's square root, we can remove the index 2 here. Now, I have here the cube root of 8. So what number raised to 3? Where the answer is 8? That is equal to 2. And then I have here the fourth root of 81. Which means, what number raised to 4 is equal to 81? And that is 3. So the, Q, the fourth root of 81 is 3. Now, here, I have here example of rational exponents. 2 raised to 1 half, 3 raised to 1 half, 8 raised to 1 third, and then I have xy raised to 2 third, or the quantity xy raised to 2 third. Now, applying the laws of exponent, 2 times 2, what are we going to do now here is, how are we going to simplify rational exponents? So let's apply the loss of exponent and let's see what the pattern that we can get there. 2 times 2, it means 2 raised to 2 and that is equal to 4. And if we're going to get the square root of 4, the answer is 2. And that is the base or this number. If I have 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times, which means that is 2 raised to 3rd power and that is equal to 8. If I'm going to get the cube root of 8, the answer is 2. So again, the base here or this one. Which means we can apply that also to expression with rational exponents. We are multiplying the same base, 2 and 2. It means we're just going to add the exponent. So 2 raised to 1 half plus 1 half and that is equal to 1. Which means 2 raised to 1. And if we're going to get the square root of 2, which means the answer is 2 raised to 1 half, which is the other one here, or what we call the base, raised to 1 half. Okay? Now, same thing here, multiplying 2 raised to 1 third two ra times 2 raised to 1 third three times, and add the exponent 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so 2 raised to 1. Which means, get the cube root of 2. And the answer is 2 raised to 1 third, which is this one. 
okay? Or any of this, 2 raised to 1 third. Therefore, we can say that 2 raised to 1 half is equal to the square root of 2. And 2 raised to 1 third is equal to the cube root of 2. So that's the pattern now. Which means if we have the a raised to, the general, if we have a raised to 1 over n, it means that that is the nth root of a. Okay, so it means that this 2 is the square root, that's the index. 3 here is the index, the denominator. And the 1 is the exponent here inside. So here, that's the index, and this is the exponent of a. So I'm gonna, now I'm just going to put it here. So look at this one. This one, this time, here, it's no longer 1. So m, which means any number, because we can have uh, a fraction which is not equal to 1. Which means that, same thing, that m should come here, and the n should be the index. Or this m can also be outside the parentheses. It means you are going to extract the square root first, or the nth root before squaring it. This one, you need to square first before extracting the nth root. Now, so let's have an example. x raised to 1 half is equal to the square root of x. 4 raised to 1 half is equal to the square root of 4, and that is equal to 2. Now, here, we have 8 raised to 1 third, and that is equal to the cube root of 8. And 16 raised to 1 fourth is equal to the fourth root of 16. Okay? For this one, exponent is here. Next, if I have now 8 raised to 2 third, it means inside the radical sign is 8 squared. And that is the cube root of 8 raised to 2. two. Okay? And that is equal to square uh, cube root of 64, if you want to simplify only. But here we are just expressing it, illustrating. Now, that is now equal to 4. Now, other way around, this one, we follow this other one here. What about if you're going to follow this one, which is easier to manipulate? Which means, that is the cube root of 8. And then, after that, you are going to square. It's easy because you notice the number here. When you are going to square that, it becomes bigger, 64. And get the cube root of 64. You are getting the cube root of bigger number. And like here, just get the cube root of 8. And then after that, whatever the answer, that's 2, then you square it. So that is 2 squared. That is equal to 4. So it's easy, right, this one? So that's all for this video and thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.